Hello, everyone, and welcome to today's webinar, Never Talk to a Stranger with MAPS Coach Caramel. Please note that this meeting is being recorded and will be available within 24 hours on the MAPS Fast Track YouTube channel. You may access the YouTube channel from your Zoom confirmation email, and we will also share the link in the chat momentarily. Currently, everyone is on mute. We do value group participation, so we ask that if you have any questions, please type them into the chat box. Your questions will be addressed by your coach throughout your webinar. Following the meeting, if you have any questions about today's call or our coaching programs, please email us at fasttrack at kw.com. That's all for me. Kara, take it away. Awesome. Well, Madeline, thank you so very much. Good morning, and thanks for joining me today for Never Talk to a Stranger. And first of all, thanks to those who are rejoining us this week after our little technical technical glitch last week. I mean, the fact that you're here speaks volumes about two things. Number one, you understand that sales is the art of communication and that when you increase your ability to effectively communicate, your sales are going to naturally increase. And the second, your presence illustrates the commitment that you have to yourself, your clients, and to those in your world. You're realizing with each passing day that you have the ability to dramatically impact those in your presence and leave them more with more power because of your relationship with them. My intention with being here during our time today is to commit, I'm committing to create a great experience that causes you to commit at the highest level to mastering language, allowing you to impact lives and close more transactions. Who am I? Well, my name's Kara Mall, and in addition to being a partner, owner, and of a top real estate team in Chicago. I'm a market center investor. I'm a MAPS head coach. I've studied the brain and human behavior, and I've earned my master practitioner in neuro-linguistic programming. I'm an energy leadership coach through IPEC, and I have done extensive work around emotional intelligence. Um, I'm a neuro performance coach, which means that I specialize in coaching leadership and agents to actually embrace and lean into the being the highest version of themselves. Many elite athletes and corporate executives have performance coaches as they know that their destiny begins and ends with their beliefs and their self-talk. Now, before we start and you choose to act actively engage in our class for the next 30, 35 minutes, I want to share that I believe that this, this next half hour of yours and the larger MAPS language of sales programs can have a direct and immediate impact on your future, your income, and in every area of your life. So here's my goal for today, is for you to walk away with something that you can use immediately today and that you see the value in elevating your language skills by enrolling in the MAPS language of sales program. Secondly, I'm here, I'm here with all of you, a group of agents, team leaders, operating principals, MCAs, coaches, and more, talking about a program that, ori that originally began way back when in 2006. I just wonder, use the chat box, how many of you were actually in the real estate business in 2006? All right, Matthew, rub it in. Matthew was eight years old. Um, there were a few of us that were here in, in 2006. At that point, started in 2004. So, so Carla, you're right after me. I've been in since 2003. So think about this. While the basic principles are the same, the, uh, the material that we use in the class has been updated to include how we actually communicate in today's world. And the fact that you're here automatically tells me that you're here to improve your skills. Our time here today is going to be interactive. As part of part of the session, you're going to have access to the chat box. And during the call, I'll be asking you to focus and think, write and share through the chat box, and be open to growing through your experience here today. And I'm asking you to 
get uncomfortable because that's actually where the growth happens. And by being here and investing in yourself and in a program that Matt, MAPS offers, frankly, I'm excited to work with all of you in an area that is truly a passion of mine. So just take a moment and imagine what will happen to your business when you have the ability to understand, connect with, and have in, and influence your prospects and clients in ways that you're not even aware of right now. Because if you were aware of them, you'd be doing it. In fact, let's use the chat box to share your thoughts. What will it look like when you connect with people at a higher level? Go ahead and put your thoughts in the box. This is where we need the typing music. I'll create an empathy bond. That's a great way to that's a great way to put it. You'll be able to relate with them, more sales, greater connections, more leads. Right? And who on this call doesn't want that? More referrals. Absolutely. Absolutely. Very exciting. And relation relationships, deeper relationships. Come feel you'll feel comfortable talking. Right? All of this Every single one of these things is possible. And in preparing for today, um, and as I always do before we, we do this promo, I wrote down some thoughts on what the, how the average agent thinks. And these are based on my thousands of coaching calls, you know, hours and hours and hours of coaching. And here's what I came up with average agents do. They probably, they're probably doing things what we would call the hard way. They think they have to be a hard closer. They have to be super salesy in order to get the job done. And they think that things can't come easily. Now, here's the great news. When you say the right thing in the right way at the right time, conversations will be easier. Life can be easier. And people will easily move forward with you in making great decisions. I'm going to ask that you play full out for the rest of our session, eliminate distractions, dial into your thinking. And of course, let's have some fun too. And we're going to focus on how to connect instantly with everyone you meet. Now, let's start by talking about the definition of rapport. Here's the definition. When two people have a good, synchronized, trusting, safe, and connected relationship in which they are able to understand each other's needs, ideas, and feelings. Well, in other words, when you're in good rapport with a person, they trust you. They do what you ask. They don't hesitate, you know, to share information. They actually trust you as a person. One of the most consistent themes that Gary Keller talks about in his masterminds is how important it, it is to build a community. Rapport helps you build your community, right? Like people hang with like people. The goal of rapport is this, to cause clients to feel comfortable with you and your recommendations, take your career to the next level through relating to others easily, list and sell more homes and less, less time with less resistance, and to cause others to act and share because they can relate and trust you. The ultimate goal is to live a better life because communication is just easier. And for the rest of the call, we're going to be talking about a strategy that allows you to become more effective in your ability to connect with strangers. It's actually very formulaic. So have you ever noticed that some people just naturally have others listen to them at a higher level? You know, the people that seem to have never met a stranger, they seem to be instant best friends with everybody they meet. It, does it seem like they're blessed with some secret power? It's like they're the Jedi and they have the force. I am the sales professional you're looking for, right? It's not magic. It's not a superpower. Most likely, they're using a proven communication technique. They know how to communicate with people in a way that just causes the listener to feel good about making decisions and be right about taking action. So let's do a quick exercise. On a blank sheet of paper, write down two things, two things. Write down how many strangers you bump into on a weekly basis. Think about it. You're at the grocery store. How many strangers do you see around you, you know, in line, something like that. I live in a high rise, so I see people in my building all the time that are strangers. In your neighborhood, at the gas station, at the gas station these days, restaurants, your kid's school, via social media. 
you know, who is commenting on, you know, you're commenting on a friend's post and there's other people com commenting on there too that are strangers. You don't know them. Everywhere you go and interact, about how many people each week do you bump into that you currently don't know? So go ahead and just pop that, pop that number in the box. Definitely way more than we know, Tanya. So just let's let's do an estimate here. <clears throat> Janet, nice to see you. Hundreds, Yolanda, sixty-five. I I think if you really sat and thought about it, about it or started to track this information, that you would realize there are hundreds. So let's just do this for easy math. Let's just say that that you one one person a week you actually bump into, okay? You're out and about. Maybe, maybe you're really not getting out that much yet. You're not, you're not so social. So let's just say there's one a week, right? Um, and I understand that you just might be learning and you're not that great at purposefully playing the language of sales rapport building game yet. So let's say you have three opportunities a week. Let's go with three for 150 total opportunities. And let's say that you're only connecting with 10% of them. That would equal 15 people that could be added to your database, right? Which, you know, these people, they may buy a home, sell a home, or invest in real estate with you someday. Now, let's presume that you convert your database at 10%. So if we, we let's say we have three people every week that we add to the database for 50 weeks, because you're going to take two weeks of vacation. I know there's 52 weeks in the year. You're going to take two weeks off. And we're going to multiply, that would give us 150 opportunities. We're going to multiply that by your current connection level, which would mean, eh, 15 additions to the database. And then let's say you're doing a really good job at following the MRA and a MREA and a 36 touch, and you're converting your database at a, a 10%, right? So if we put 15 people in there, 10% of 15 is 1.5, but we're going to round up because I don't know about you, it's kind of hard to do a half a transaction. I'd rather do a full transaction. So that's two transactions. And let's say your average commission is 5,000. That would equal $10,000 of potential income to you. Now you all know the second number I want you to write down is your average income. Now let's run another scenario. Let's run another scenario. Let's take that same three people a week or 150 opportunities, which you see right there on the screen. Although this time you've got some newly found language skills. And because of that, you're now converting those people as at a 50% conversion rate in, it, in adding them to your database. So of the 150 people you meet, you're adding 50% of them to your database. That's 75. And let's let's say we're still doing that same conversion rate where we're getting a 10% return on our database, that would be 7.5 rounded up to eight. So that would be eight more transactions. And at a $5,000 average commission, it's $40,000 to you. That's a difference of $30,000. Now I want you to, I want you to take a moment. Let's say these are your numbers, except for the average commission. Because I know that in this, this market we've been experiencing, many of you have much higher commissions. Take your average commission times eight and put that number in the box. Put that number in the chat box. Your average commission times eight and put it in the chat box. And if you don't know your average commission, we'll take a guess. So, ooh, Todd, 160,000. 80,000, Cheryl, yep, yep. 56,000. So for easy math, what I'm gonna do, and you don't have to, you don't have to track with me on this, I'm just gonna say, so, for Todd, that's an, that's an opportunity of gaining 120,000 over the first example we gave. For Cheryl, it's an opportunity to gain 60 more thousand. Um, so do you see where I'm going? You can actually 4X, which, oh, coincidentally, Gary says, 
It should be our return on investment for anything we do. So the difference, those numbers that I just mentioned are the difference between what you're netting and your current language skills and what you could develop utilizing language of sales. And by taking the class again, if you've taken it before, that's your lost potential income. Now, this is why I really want you to focus. So let's just state one more thing that needs to be clear. Using elevated language skills is not manipulation. The definition of manipulation is exerting shrewd or devious influence, especially for one's own advantage. We're not using our MAPS language of sales powers for the dark side. We're using them to help clients get what they want. You must choose to become more effective in your use of language to make an impact on your listener and empower them to take action with you. And when you enroll in language of sales, I'll be coaching you through on a weekly basis how to better connect with people in a way that causes them to act instead of procrastinate. Any parents know what I'm talking about <clears throat> and causes them to choose you because you're a force for good and you want to help them get what they want and navigate through this unprecedented market that we're having. And when they get what they want, you'll automatically get what you want. Can I just get a few yeses in the box so that I know you're tracking with me? I always love the chat delay. So yes, 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 yes. You guys are you guys are awesome. So then let's proceed. Let's learn one quick method of instant rapport that comes directly from the MAPS language of sales. And consider that even in this day of texting and emailing, social media interaction, that you can still add a lot to your bottom line, making connections with people you meet, just living your normal life at group activities, like your kids' sports activities, May huge month for that, right? And even, even, you know, open houses. The method I'm going to teach you works extremely well. And like most things in life, the more you use it, the better your results. One more thing. You have to be uncomfortable. You have to be uncomfortable to do this. So get comfortable being uncomfortable. It requires you to put aside your normal way of thinking, stick it on the shelf, your natural communication style that you've used your entire life. So that's why it's going to feel uncomfortable because you haven't been talking this way your entire life doing these things. It may feel unnatural at first, so you'll have to be okay with being a little humbled by doing something different than what you've always done. So think of it this way. This class is called MAPS Language of Sales. The part of the course is is learning new language and language patterns in new ways to communicate. Think about the last time you learned a new language. I don't know about you, but it took me a lot of repetition, practice, and focus, focus to become good at it. I was willing to pay the price because I knew what, where I wanted to be. I knew the skills I wanted to have. And because quite frankly, where I usually am is where I'm not content to be. So here we go. You meet someone and you want to initiate a real estate conversation because isn't that really our goal with everyone? Your goal is to connect with the person you meet in a way that they like, remember, and they feel connected with you. If they're not ready to buy or sell at this very moment, you at least want to give get their contact information and get permission to stay in touch, right? Put them in your data bank. So let's start. I'm going to start by telling you the what, and then we're going to walk through the how. So here we go. We're going to build instant rapport by doing three things. You're going to pay close attention to their model of the world. You're going to respect and connect with them based on their model of the world. And you're going to follow until rapport is built and then lead based on a strong connection. And right now you might be going, what do you mean their model of the world, respecting and connecting with them and their model of the world, follow them and lead? Just Stick with me here. These are the three steps. May sound confusing and you'll understand when I, when I show you how it's done. So when you meet someone, instead of just insisting on them liking you for who you are, you know, don't you know who I am? You are going to be like them. People relate to people like them 
They like people like them. They trust people like them. They remember and enjoy the interaction with people like them. And you know what? They do business with people like them. So guess what you're going to do? Right. You're going to be like them. How would you like it if when you first met someone, instead of reacting to you like a stranger, they they felt you right away. They felt that they were safe, a friend or someone they were intensely interested in getting to know. What if they loved and even repeated the conversation they had with you? What if the line you were standing in moved, moved and they had followed you to the next place or the parking lot and because they were happy to have that communication continue? That's the goal of language of sales, whether it's on the phone or in person, we want to connect with people and have, the, have them love the conversation that we shared. So first, it's paying attention to their model of the world. You bump into someone in line, you make eye contact, you smile, and you make a comment about something you observe, and you start a conversation. This actually happened, happened to me two weeks ago. I was in the Austin airport coming back from mega leadership camp. I was standing in line to get on the plane and I noticed the lady next to me had these great shoes. I mean, they looked super comfy. That defines great to me these days. Um, she glanced at me and I said, I love your shoes. Are they as comfortable as they look? And she replied that they were and they were perfect for work. Oh, please. She cracked the door open. So, of course, I asked her what she did for work, which led her to asking, well, you know what I did. Through the five-minute conversation, I found out what she did, that she was flying home for, for Easter. She mentioned her mom was seriously thinking of moving and would probably need, she was going to be helping her and would probably need an agent that she could trust living thousands of miles away from her mom. Yep instant rapport was built because of a shared interest and an addition to my database was made. You may not connect on comfy shoes. However, there's always something to connect on. Find something you can comment on and make it a very neutral, safe conversation by opening, by opening with, a, with a question. Now stay with me here. When they respond, you intensely pay attention to the way they speak, meaning you're listening. You're not like all up in their face. You're listening to what they're saying, their tone, their rate of speech, their body language, and their face. What is their face saying? I know it's a lot. It's new. Remember, language is not easy to learn, and you already understand that once you learn it, it's yours forever. So they respond to your comment. You're going to listen intently like they are the most interesting person in the world. You make the observations and you commit to respect and connect with them based on their model of the world. And when they respond, are their eyes twinkling? Were they as if they were speaking of the greatest joy of their life? Were they frowning as if they were in pain just thinking of what you discussed? Did you look, did they look off into space and give nonverbal cues as to what your comments elicited in them? I can tell you that lady was she her body language shifted when she talked about her mom having to move so you've observed their behavior and now you're going to follow their lead and this is part two respect and connect with them based on their model of the world you take on as much of their body language as possible are they slouching how are their feet positioned are they leaning in leaning back are their arms crossed? Remember, you've observed their way of being, and now you're going to follow as much of that way of being as possible. You're going to pick out something from your observation, something from a little verbal or nonverbal cue, something from their bodily response, and put it all together in a response that you're, and you're going to stay there with them in that conversation and being for as long as you have to until you feel connected to them. In the example I spoke of, the lady not only did she have cute shoes, comfy shoes, she had a wheel bag, like a carry-on, and a small purse that was resting on it. So she was holding like the handle of the bag in her purse. As she spoke, I casually slipped my bag off my shoulder, set it on my bag, and started holding my bag, uh, my purse with my other wheel bag, just like she was. We were both holding our bags with two hands as they stood right in front of us. I was matching her body language. And of course, I did that subtly. You'll know you're connected 
because you'll test the connection. When you're in rapport, you follow, then you lead, which is step three. You'll actually learn about others and how they are in rapport. They'll give you permission to lead. So as the lady and I continued our conversation, I moved my feet and guess what she did? She moved hers to match mine. First, I followed her. Now she was following me. Now, wait until you see this work in your life. In fact, you know it already does. Picture this. If you've ever um, been around a little child, had a child, were a child at some point in time, and when they're very emotional about something, you lower down to where they are and you put a sad face on and you start talking with their tone, which is actually you getting in rapport with them. And then you start talking in a happy manner and you start bringing him out of it. And then it's going to be all better, isn't it? It's truly that easy. So right now you might have one of two reactions to everything I just shared with you. Either your inner voice is saying, no way, they're going to know, they're going to catch me. I can't do it. Why should I? I'm smooth. People like me just being me. I'm way too cool for this. Good luck. Or Maybe your reaction was, well, I can give it a go. Some of the world's greatest communicators use these methods after all. And as soon as you try it, you'll see how powerful it is. And you have to practice it over and over with everyone in order to start to internalize it. This is when you'll see that you're in rapport. They breathe, they sigh, they lean in, they share, they connect. Maybe they ask you a question like, hmm. So how's the market? Of course, the goal is to connect and get them to do something right now or turn them into a database member, right? That's always our, our purpose. Who will, you'll, you'll stay connected with until they're ready to make a move. The bottom line is what you say is only a small part of communication. It actually matters more that you connect create rapport, and then when people hear some, someone like them, all of their defenses go away and they let you take the lead. Do you see how applying this technique can significantly increase your ability to connect with people at a deeper level? I mean, I know we did this quickly and in the MAPS language of sales calls, they're in a full hour long every session. And we dig deep every session. In between the weekly sessions, you'll communicate um, your growth work to reinforce the techniques. MAPS language of sales is a method of influencing brain behavior using language. Think about the example I gave you earlier. Many of you are probably already doing things like this. However, you're not doing them purposefully. Using these techniques takes practice and practice and practice and more practice. Let's look at some facts about that become useful in communication. You're already sensing that with the shifting market, and if it's not happening by you, buckle in, it will be. You must be more effective in your use of language, causing your listener to choose you, to work with you, to hire you, to join your team, whatever it is. Get the point? You can continue to just connect with the limited number of people who communicate exactly like you, or you can choose today to master your language skills, which will allow you to increase more closed transactions, market share, and the way we think about it to get more yeses. So the question is, would you like to learn more techniques like this that could make a massive difference in your life? I'm wondering what's the price you're paying now for your current skill set? I mean, earlier you figured out your potential lost business opportunity by not elevating your language skills through, the, through our next launch of the language of sales. I mean, for some of you, it was tens of thousands of dollars. That's the cost of your current skills or lack of language skills. The best communicators know that investing time and resources and mastering language skills, they give you an enormous payoff. Take a moment and get clear on the calls you didn't make last year because you weren't sure what to say. Earlier, I asked how many of you have been in the business 15 years? It's going to be important for you to know 
not only the words to use, but how to use them as we continue through the shifting market. So get clear on the calls you haven't made. I mean, how many of you are really nailing your lead generation time? How many have a listing that you failed to get just in the past month? Maybe you have a buyer and the house just isn't available on the market right now. Or you don't know what to do to get more listings. I'm doing everything. <gasps> or how to manage interest rates. Or maybe you have a buyer that's torn between buying now and waiting because of what interest rates are doing. Instinctively, you're already beginning to understand the need to take advantage of the opportunity to increase your sales through the mastery of your language skills. There's a price you're going to pay to participate in the program. And if you stick with me for another two minutes, I'll actually give you a cool discount code. It's actually $299 for eight weeks of, of training. And intuitively, you know that you're already paying a far greater price. I mean, many of you put that in the box. You're paying that price for the leads you didn't convert. So here's the next steps. Go to mapslanguageofsales.com and join me in our next session that starts May 10th. Our sessions are held on Tuesdays at 11 a.m. Central. They're recorded. So if you happen to miss a live session, don't worry. You can still participate. And you can also review the sessions for 60 days after the, the course is over. We're going to have a great private Facebook back book uh, group. And those who have been in the class know that this is where some magic happens and referrals happen. We're going to share our successes. We're going to share our funny stories when we mess it up etc. We're going to, you're going to meet weekly with other top professionals and you're going to make more sales in less time. So go to mapslanguageofsales.com, promo code LOS20 when you enroll by May 1st. Again, the price is $2.99 for the entire course and we start May 10th. And when you enroll and use that code, well, you know that that's a small price to pay to build your language skills. Thanks for being here with me today. Like most of the agents who take the language of sales course, I look forward to hearing your success stories. Thanks everyone. Thank you.